Tron music, disco ninjas, and a couple hundred students. Join reporter Ariel Harrison behind the front lines of BYU's Laser Wars. Our team name is Halloween Town 2 Calabar's Revenge. Disco Ninjas? We haven't picked one yet. There's a first time for everything. Laser Wars. It's the first time we've ever done it before, and it's just going to be like a tournament. We have three rooms, and one of the rooms is the main tournament room where teams have signed up to make sure they get a spot so they can compete. The Student Activities Board here at BYU hosts free events every Wednesday night fall and winter semester and every other Wednesday during spring and summer. This week, a laser tag tournament took place and got lots of students excited. Guns, headsets, and safety vests. The equipment used was provided by a very knowledgeable staff. You can't have fire a laser near someone's eye because you'll fry the retina almost instantly. Which... The activity had a great turnout. So many students came to get their laser tag on. It was a little bit intense, uh, a lot of fighting, a lot of yelling. I didn't hear any cursing, which is good, but it was almost, almost there. Students were trained how to use the equipment prior battlefield. So it's safe to say each soldier was sent out with the force. Team signed up online and came ready for battle. So we watched Star Trek recently, so uh, we're just gonna try to copy what they did there as far as their strategy. The best defense is good offense. The strategy was clearly to camouflage in the dark <laughs> so nobody would see us. Teams enter the battlefield. Winner stays and continues to play while the loser has the choice to be done or armor up and get back in line to play again. It's kind of funny because people are getting back in line and they're like, okay, we did this wrong. We need to strategize different. So it's kind of fun to watch. Um, it's always impressive when there's like five people still in and then one guy takes them all out because that just happens. Although some weren't able to come with a full team, they still had the chance to play. It's kind of like Halo where I just run into the corner and I just stay there with the guy. And you get shot before you know what's happening. No, it just kept buzzing. You just have this little headband and it buzzes at you. With a great turnout, students had a lot of fun and learned some great lessons. I think I'm going to stay in school. I'm definitely changing my major <laughs> to whatever this is. Laser tag is. Yeah, I was thinking like pro laser tag or -er. would look really great on resume. <laughs> As for me, I'm going in. I don't have a strategy, but wish me luck. Ariel Harrison, BYU Weekly.